St. Louis startup Aerial Insight says it's changing the way industries are doing business by giving drones an important role in operations. HEC TV's Michael Daniels has the story. This three-year-old startup has acquired quite a fleet of unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones. They come in a variety of sizes and functions with some of the most cutting edge technology, like advanced sensors, multi-cameras with thermal imaging, and Esri, a leader in mapping and analytic software. Founder of Aerial Insights, Harrison Knoll explains how these drones work. So we have and operate uh, a multitude of drones, everything from what you see at Best Buy, uh, multi-rotors, and up to fixed wing systems, which is looks kind of like an airplane. Uh, and then we do vertical takeoff and landing fixed wings. So these drones, they, they come off the ground straight like this and then transition to forward fl flight. Um, those can fly for anywhere between four to six hours and they can carry a multitude of sensors. Some are flown remotely by a person on the ground, while others fly autonomously with a predetermined flight path. These can fly up to 30 miles away while sending real-time images. And for the drones that we fly, everything has obstacle avoidance. So it has uh, four additional cameras on board and two other sensors, which are ultrasound. And it uses these sensors to basically map out its surroundings. So it's not going to, you can try flying it right into yourself and it'll see you and it'll stop. And then likewise, there's sensors on the bottom, so it won't hit the ground. And so there's a lot of obstacle avoidance that's happening. The technology inside this drone is changing how industries like utility and railway companies are doing things. It is saving them time, resources, and helping to keep workers safe. Aerial Insights' Demetrius Kane says they partner with leaders in the drone manufacturing industry to choose the drones for their fleet. He says they can train their clients to use the drones themselves and teach them to interpret the data, or they will fly and gather the data for the client. What we actually utilize them for is the inspection of utility infrastructure um, and critical infrastructure systems. Um, so it's the transmission, distribution, uh, generation side of power, um, and then also the critical infrastructure of road, railway, bridges, um, anything that would be utilized to pretty much live a daily life is what we focus on and how to inspect it in a way that can prevent outages, disaster response, um, and help them to predict future changes in the industry. Another technology used on the drones is hyperspectral imaging. This imaging sees up to 280 bands of colors, far beyond what the human eye can, which sees in only three bands, red, green, and blue. This imaging uses these colors to detect objects and anomalies that otherwise would be more difficult to find. So we're unlocking visions that has never been seen before. And so it's not only am I using a drone, a tool, but it's the data that it's getting. And there's new types of data. Um, and then how do you analyze that to, to make meaning to us as uh, ordinary people? <laughs> the drones are allowing power companies like Ameren to go more quickly and safely into places to assess damage, such as down power lines, where in the past, workers would have had to go up in a bucket truck and work near live wires or go on foot into dangerous situations. Using an unmanned vehicle, you can have a guy that's half a mile away that goes up, deploys it really quickly in a disaster response. You don't have to worry about the live lines. They can go up and survey the damage and come back while never endangering anyone. The drones are also using LIDAR, a laser technology that uses pulses of light to create 3D topography. Kane says this data helps infrastructure organizations like the Department of Transportation to predict and plan for future problems such as cracks in roadways. You can actually fly a, have an incredibly accurate, precise flight path and you can fly it multiple times and you can have that LIDAR scan the exact same location so that then you can mirror the two images on top of each other and actually calculate um, erosion and then you can predict cracks before it happens. So you can actually reduce costs and maintenance for railways, uh, bridges, uh, roadways. You can, you can help those type of uh, critical infrastructure companies. Aerial Insights says the drone industry has grown in a very short time and they expect it to keep growing with new technology on the horizon like artificial intelligence. They say the question to be asked though in using this technology is how can it be used to enrich people's lives? Um, and you know, when you're looking at the disasters that are all over the news right now, 
um, that's one of the things where our technology can really, really impact um, those markets so that we can assess not only the damage of the homes, um, but we can also assist with how do we get the critical infrastructure back up and running as fast as possible while not endangering the lives of someone flying an aircraft. So the next time you catch a glimpse of a drone in the sky, it may be on a mission. A mission to keep your electricity up and running or keeping the infrastructure around you safe for your morning commute. Um, as we always joke around that, you know, it's not like we're flying drones in the sky while putting the images on a map. It's, you know, we're doing all of these things at once, but the end goal of everything that we're doing is so that we can help enrich people's lives um, through utilizing UAV technology. For HEC TV, I'm Michael Daniels.